Did you see that big mess we've been covering? I saw it. It's awful. Yeah, this morning since 6 o'clock, I had my eyes on it. This newscast at 6 a.m., we looked at the cement truck totally overturned on the Beltway near Hillcroft. And crews have been out on those roads now for several hours trying to clean up that debris. Channel 2's Vincent Crivelli joining us now live with their efforts and what we've learned about the driver of that truck. Vince, good morning. Andy, Jen, good morning. The, tow the cement truck driver is in the hospital. He is expected to be okay. Authorities have now been here for over five hours. Right now, one lane of traffic remains closed as authorities put the finishing touches on this cleanup operation. This morning commute was anything but usual on the Sam Houston Tollway as traffic backed up for miles. Up above, Sky 2 shows us why. Around 5.15 this morning, a cement truck lost control. He struck the barrier wall, hit a barrier light pole, slid down the wall. Smashing into a few other light poles along the way, which crashed on the eastbound side. It's, it's just an incredible that, that nobody else was hurt. It's one of them good days. Adding to the headache, some cement smeared across lanes of traffic. A look inside the mixer shows us where concrete spilled out. The skeleton of the truck seen upright appears to have a blown out tire. Then traffic got worse when authorities briefly blocked westbound lanes as they maneuvered the mixer onto a tow truck. Workers did their best to sweep up before the cement dried. Twisted pieces of the truck were towed away to a nearby parking lot where they were inspected before workers took them away. Um, it's unbelievable that he, that he actually survived out of it. Very lucky individual. Again, authorities say the cement truck driver is expected to be okay. Meanwhile, authorities are hoping to clear up this operation here within the next hour. Of course, we'll keep you guys updated. For now, reporting live in southwest Houston, Vincent Crivelli, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Lucky for everybody involved. Thank you, Vince.